Brenna! Hammerhead Sharks! Shall we go up? Back to back. We can't get caught off guard. Zeke was right. We're studying sharks. This really is the place to be. We even saw hammerheads. An enormous school. We'll have plenty to keep us busy. and I swam to the surface back to back, just in case the shark circled around. I wish I could have been there. Me too. Exams are such a drag. <laughs> you two should be studying, not talking to me. You're right. Bye. We'll be back on board in a couple of weeks. See ya. Zeke to Calypso. Oh, Zeke, I'm glad you called. We're in the Cocos Islands. Did you find any hammerheads? Yes, a huge school, maybe 20 or 25. Now there's some good news. Think we'll have the chance to see them reproduce? Got my fingers crossed. Out of two dozen, we should be able to find some that are ready to mate. And mothers to be? Oh, I really hope so. Wouldn't that be incredible? Listen, hurry back. We can't wait to see you. I'll be aboard in three days.
Be very careful. The sharks don't really like human flesh, but they don't all know that. Don't worry. We're being careful. How's everything going at Pointe Pete? I met an interesting young man who's studying at the Oceanographic Institute on a Fulbright scholarship. He wants to be a ship designer. Quite brilliant, really. We had some interesting discussions. <laughs> All ship designs have the same problems. Turbulence, backwash, and waves. The more you've got of these, the slower you go. Now, I've looked at it from every angle, but I've come up... Ah, but are you sure you've looked at it from every angle? What do you mean? Underwater. No waves, no turbulence. That's the ultimate dream, to be like a fish in water. That's what I'm saying. I truly believe designers could learn a lot from observing animals. The wing of a bird, the shell of a crab, the streamlined body of a shark. What? What is it? The Calypso is at Cocos Island, off the coast of Costa Rica. The crew is studying the reproduction of sharks. But these fish are also the kings of hydrodynamics, especially the hammerheads. You absolutely have to see this. You mean sharks? There's a hydroplane coming to get me tomorrow morning. Pack a bag and meet me on the dock. Well, um... All right, I will. Sorry, but on a ship at sea, the mail comes before everything else. Iannis, Reina, this is Stéphane Normand. He's going to spend a few days with us. Stéphane is looking for a concept for a revolutionary boat design. I thought that the movements of the hammerhead sharks might give him some ideas. Yeah, ideas of suicide? Walrus, cheap mechanic. Don't let him scare you. Welcome aboard, Stéphane. Truth be told, we don't know what advantages the hammerheads get from their strange, flat, and elongated heads. Well, it, it would certainly reduce bow wave. And 
The fact that their eyes are very far apart could also allow them to discern relief. Sharks, as a rule, don't have very good eyesight. On the other hand, they do have an extraordinary sense of smell. You know, to feign, to study sharks, the best way is to visit them where they live. Undoubtedly, but I've, I've never dived. Finally, a guy with some sense. There's no better place to learn, and no better teacher than Ionis. Here, here. Bionics? Like Robocop? Oh, we're not there yet. Bionics takes inspiration from nature and incorporates it into man-made designs. Like you watch a maple seed falling and you invent the helicopter? That's the idea. A and the sharks? Well, according to Captain Cousteau, hammerheads are the best adapted animal in the marine world. Yeah, for carnage. Tefane, I was thinking about your project and an idea came to me. We have an infrared camera on board. It would allow you to get a good look at how the water moves around the body of the hammerheads. Wouldn't the problem be that the sharks are cold-blooded animals, and between their bodies and the water, the infrared images wouldn't show any difference? Nope, not these guys. Oh, well then, infrared would be fantastic. So you'll get some shots for me? Well, that's the problem. I'm on the main camera crew, so I won't be able to shoot with the infrared. Who can do it then? You! If you want the images to feign, you're gonna have to get it wet. Breathe as regularly as possible. We won't go very deep, and I'll stay right by you. You're not taking a harpoon? No way. If we were to shed blood in the water, it'd cause a feeding frenzy. We'd all probably get eaten alive. The shark prod is better. What was that? An angel shark. It ambushes its prey. much easier to maneuver. See those tiny holes on the side of the snout? Those holes allow them to find their way around much better than a compass would. 
so that the hammerhead moves through the water like a god and has instruments that are more precise than anything man's created. In short, they're the perfect swimming machine. What did I tell you? See, you really enjoyed yourself. What have you got there, Reina? A baby angel shark. It's just come out of its mother's belly. She filmed the whole thing. I guess they don't all lay eggs. I told you, walrus. They're ovoviviparous. The first baby that hatches in the female's belly devours the other eggs. That's what we call intrauterine cannibalism. Hmm. These beasts are cruel creatures. Cruelty is a purely human idea, walrus. Feeling better? Yes, thanks. Have you already looked at the tapes? Yes, ours. We were waiting for you to watch your set. Thanks. Put the infrared images in player two. They push on the water. First on one side, then on the other. And they shoot forward. But this sculling movement must inevitably create turbulence. Let's see it in infrared. Incredible! Water slips past their bodies as if they weren't there. Minimum energy expenditure, maximum efficiency. The perfect model. Tell you what, never seen them up that close before. Much better than in the Red Sea. Oh, for sure. So anyone who hasn't dived at Coco's, we're gonna be leaving the day after tomorrow. It'll be their last chance. After that, the only place they'll be able to see these sharks will be on video. Oh, it's not the same. Take my word for it. What's the matter with him? Oh, Tefane, I, I wanted to ask you. Is it worth it? You know, to go down there? I mean, really? You're tempted, huh? Well, I was just thinking that it might be kind of stupid to have come all this way without seeing sharks up close. Yes. I mean, yes, it is worth it. Even if you're scared to death, even if you're sick after, it's worth it, 200%. I want to show you something. It's a submarine, of course. Does that say 60 knots? It's traveling at 60 knots? Well, in a virtual sea, yes. But it should do almost as well in the real ocean. If I hadn't dived, I don't think I ever would have had the idea. Well, look out, sharks. You've got a walrus coming for a visit.
your back. And stick to me, okay? Got it. So, you guys finished with your exams? I am. Yep, me too. They really saw a shark have a baby? I can't believe we missed that. Walrus came back up. He was... Wait a minute. Walrus went on a dive? Yeah. And I think he's told this story to everyone at least ten times. <laughs> <laughs> and then, one of them passed this far from my face. Another one almost bit my flipper off. You've got no idea. It was magic. It was magic. When I think that I almost missed it. It's thanks to you, Dufane. When I tell my wife about this, she... I advise you to give her the soft version. I really don't want Mrs. Walrus after me. Maybe all this work we've done will help change Shark's undeserved reputation as bloodthirsty brutes? What do you think, Walrus? I mean... They're the ones who invented motherhood. There you go. That's what I'll tell Mrs. Walrus. <laughs> <laughs> oh.